All right. Is Triple G the next pay-per-view star? With a question mark. Now, I don't want anybody to get mad. I want them to listen to me before I say what I have to say. Just listen before you get mad. All right. Triple G is a good fighter. Triple G is fun to watch. He is solid. This is not about if... I'm not going to make this video about if he's scared to fight this person who's next for him. It's strictly about who's the next pay-per-view star. We can't technically crown nobody the next pay-per-view star in boxing until we get all the numbers back. So it gets on my nerves when I see Dan Rayfield and Yahoo Sports and all these other people who are paid by Golden Boy Promotions and Top Rank Promotions just put down something to try and propaganda wagon something. Triple G is a good fighter, but he's not the great pay-per-view star or the next pay-per-view star. Why? What is pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen? It's based on numbers. So if Canelo gets more numbers versus Cotto, we can't say. If Terrence Crawford keeps doing what he does and he ends up fighting Manny Pacquiao or Kell Brook or Posto or Adrian Broner down the, the road, he could be the next pay-per-view star. So my whole point is, ladies and gentlemen, is pay-per-view star is based on the amount of buys you get. Not about how exciting you are. Not about how skillful of a boxer you are. Not about if you deserve this or you deserve that. It's based on the numbers. So whoever has the most numbers, exciting, boring, indifferent, that's the next pay-per-view star. Most people, Adrian Broner gets on our nerves. But if Adrian Broner sells more fights than somebody else, he's the next pay-per-view star. If Canelo sells more fights than somebody else, he's the next pay-per-view star. If Terrence Crawford does it, he's the next pay-per-view star. That's how you grade pay-per-view stars. Or that's how you award somebody the next pay-per-view star, the next big thing in boxing. It just get, You can't just Dan Ray feel it or Yahoo Sports and say, oh, Triple G put on this great performance on pay-per-view. Yeah, he might have. And I agree. Yeah, he did. But what is pay-per-view based on? The amount of buys. The amount of money that the fighter can generate. If you got a fan base where you can generate a million buys every time you're on pay-per-view, you're the next pay-per-view star. Or at this point, since Floyd's retired, I don't know if anybody will get a million. So it's probably looking like a half a million. Canelo Cotto, eh, I guess most boxing fans and everybody would agree with me on this is that they'll probably get over a million. They'll they'll get a lot of pay-per-view view buys. So... There's no argument there, but we just have to wait and see. It's going to take a year, maybe two years, to see who the next pay-per-view star is because we have to consistently see after three or four fights who can only fight on pay-per-view and who can only, you know, generate the audience that everybody is looking for them to generate. Will it be Canelo? Will it be Crawford? Will it be Triple G? We don't know. But the next pay-per-view star will have to grade it a lot later down the road. We can't just say it right now because it's not based on performance. As sad as or as frustrating as that may sound, it's simply based on numbers. You sell the most pay-per-view, you're the pay-per-view king. It's that simple. Mass Tech Sports Radio. Don't forget to catch our podcast every single Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Central Time. Call in number 929-477-2663. Peace out, boxing heads.